Hey guys, welcome back to Unmedicated and Dysfunctional. I'm Kenz. I know this isn't a video game video and I apologize, but I did get very excited over this product that I wanted to share with you, especially since the end of the world is coming. I'm just kidding. Everything's gonna be fine. This is not as bad as it could be. The shut-in is a little bit inconvenient, I guess, but um, everything that we're doing right now is very preventative, which is very good. So it's not gonna be another bubonic plague situation. It will all tide over soon. If you guys are stressed out at home, I know that gets crazy, but it's gonna be good. All will pass. So I wanted to share with you guys though, I was restocking my medic kit because um, our dogs got into it over the food. So I did end up getting it um, as my reflexes that kicked in were not the smartest. Um, totally fine, just a little hole right there and a bit right there, nothing's broken. Um, but one thing I noticed, and I was already familiar with this before because, I don't know, if, if you just prep with that kind of stuff, you work with different materials, but you don't ever really think about it until it's being done to you. Um, so when they go to clean out your cuts and stuff, they'll take, um, this spongy scrubby thing and scrub it out, but they use iodine. They don't use a different solution. It's just saline and iodine to clean it out. So while I was talking to the nurse that was helping me get all wrapped up and everything, um, I decided that when I got home, since my kit was so low, I needed to restock, I would start looking for iodine-based um, creams instead of Neosporin. And I was able to find this one called Betadine, Betadine. Better DNA, however you want to say it. Um, it's going to be backwards to you because my camera's flipped, but it is called Betadine. You can trust me on that. And um, it is a 5% povidone iodine antiseptic. So it's basically like the cream version of Neosporin, but with iodine instead of that triple antibiotic. Um, I have to say, so I, I was using the Neosporin for about five days and the problem that I have with Neosporin is that it will just kind of sit on my skin and I already take a really long time to heal just because I've got other things going on. Like if I get a tattoo done, it doesn't ever really scab over. It just kind of stays however it was put in, which is really good. But then when I do actually get hurt, <laughs> it doesn't heal super quick. So the Neosporin will just kind of sit on my skin like jelly um, and it I feel like doesn't really help speed up the healing process. But this stuff, first of all, it's it's more like a cream than it is a jelly. So it's a lot lighter going on, it's not as thick. Also, it starts out red like the iodine and then turns white when it's clean. And who doesn't love a good old chemical reaction? It's kind of like a magic trick. But what's really nice about it is that your skin soaks it in so it doesn't just sit there, which means it protects the opening, but also allows it to breathe, which you don't really get a whole lot of with the Neosporin. So when I wrapped my arm for the first night with the Betadine, the next morning, the healing was significantly different. Um, I noticed that I'll have like, when I wash it, there's this white residue from the Betadine. The best way I can ex explain it is kind of like, it's almost like a skin layer, but your skin actually goes in and like takes it over, I guess is the best way I can describe it. Um, awesome stuff though. I will probably never use Neosporin again. I will always stick to this. It's a little bit more expensive than Neosporin. I was able to get it off of Amazon. Um, but I am wildly impressed. So the pros that you have with this over the Neosporin is that it takes 60 seconds to get rid of any bacterial infections, not infections, but any sort of bacterial growth. Um, whereas the Neosporin takes about 15 minutes. The Neosporin supposedly from what I've read, it's been kind of back and forth, covers a wider range of bacteria that it will eliminate. Um, but the Betadine is stronger and we'll get rid of it faster. So that being said, most dog bites, um, about 50% of them end up getting infected. I haven't had any issues with it so far. Again, though, mine was very minor and I do clean it out really well. 
um, and I did as soon as it happened before we ended up going in. So there are other habitual differences that I think probably changed a lot of that too. Um, but I am so impressed with this stuff. So impressed with it. Uh, I will forever be stocking my kit at home with this. They are not sponsoring. I wish they were. I could use a sponsor. <laughs> That's not gonna happen anytime soon. So these guys not sponsoring, really just truly speaking from experience, I would highly, highly recommend stocking up on some of that. Um, don't go crazy, the tubes last a long time and you don't need much. I wouldn't recommend using a lot of it, but um, it's awesome. Really, really great stuff. And it doesn't hurt, it just kind of feels cold, which is really cool. I kind of like that icy feeling, so. Thank you guys so much. Just wanted to share that with you in case you guys are at home making your own kits. Um, this stuff I have found for me personally has sped up the healing process. Um, I have enjoyed using it a lot more. Um, it's a lot more comfortable. So check it out, look into it if you're interested and um, stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, love you guys, you guys are awesome. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Uh, 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 uh,